I want it to not fall in there, but I don't want it tight, because once it goes in, it might not come out very easy. So I've got to squeeze it in. We don't put these in when we do that, because all the plaster just ruins them. So we always put them in afterwards. The PU glues are good when it's not such a tight fit, but yeah. where we've got a nice or reasonably tight fit here, I like the PVA glue, you know, don't mess your hands up, and it's stronger than the wood itself, as they say. So, we had a good book back glue. Couldn't put it down. <laughs> Sorry to nick your punchline. <laughs> there you go. Double X. <laughs> I'll do it on the bottom rail, but I'm going to do it on the top rail. I'm going to mark halfway. I mean, I'll do, I'll do it on the bottom rail more. And it's really good for when I'm doing these ones, or it's on the bench. If you mark halfway, if you've got an odd amount of sticks, you'll have a stick bang in the middle. Mm -hmm. So, say you've got three, you'd have one there, one there, and one there. Got it. If it's an even amount, you'll have your spacer in the middle. Yeah, and then put them either and side. Then, so, yeah. I'll just do a mark. So, then, cause I always start from one end, and then when you're running out, you can get in the middle and you might think, oh, actually, I'm running a couple of millimetres out here, and then re measure it and perhaps adjust your spacers. Just sprung them two nulls apart, that's why we only had a little tenon on it. So, spring them and then quickly dropping it in. So the tenon's too long, you've got to give it even more. Are they your flooring ones? They then? are flooring cramps either, and I thought, you know what? These would be quite handy, I hope, just to pull that up. Ka ching Yeah, I know, you lose an eye. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> well, I was gonna wedge this over as well, that nulls a little bit. It just wants a bit of persuasion down here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. That's right, it's over here, isn't it? It's just, it's just over the wrong way, but I'm sure that will spring back a little bit, so that's it. Lovely. All right. Fill a rag, give that glue a little clean up. What's good about that Festool saw, what I like, people on all the, you know, we all got your different saws, but sometimes when you're doing these, I've not used the other saws, so I don't know, but when you're doing hand rounds and you just want to take did a little bit off to nothing. They are quite solid, there's no rattle in them. There's a bit of a plaster shortage, but I reckon if they got more of it on the walls and not on the floor, it wouldn't cost them so much, would it? <laughs> Same as the top almost. It <laughs> yeah. should be, but 3163. I'm going to do it 3164, that's so a little bit tight. Hopefully. So that's the halfway mark. So again, when I set all the stair sticks out, I'll start from one end, work up. And again, if we've got an odd amount, we'll have one stick bang in the middle there. So if you've got three sticks, it'd be one there, one there, one there. If it's even amount, the spacer will be bang over that. On this hand round, I've got about 25 stair sticks going in. So if you're half a mil out, that's 13 mil at the end. So I'm gonna try and get it. But I've got some of these, and these sticks vary, not a lot, but it says saying it's 32.6. Um, but I think some of them, it's just under. That's 32.01. But 
I'm just going to call it 30, 32.5 for the maths. Yeah, 32.54. So it's so minute. I've got 25 sticks coming through there, so if I'm half a mil out every stick, that's 12 and a half mil out at the end, which mm. is, good, you know, that's I want to try and it? get the spacing. That's half, half a stick out. Half a stick out, yeah. So, yeah. so, so these, I'm going to call it 32 and a half mil for the maths purposes. I normally yeah. do about three quarters of the sticks and then do a new measurement. And again, if you're like two mil out, if they're all like 90 mil and the last couple are 92 mil, yeah. you're never going to notice it. No. Whereas if they're all 90 mil, the last one's 80. Yeah, yeah. It's good not point. looking yeah. so good. But I think there's plenty of apps around for doing the stair sticks. But again, I've been doing it before the apps was around. So I like doing the maths every now and then. <laughs> I just, you know, it gets yeah. your brain ticking over. Hmm. So what I've done, I've measured between the new posts. Yeah. And I would go for 25 sticks. So the building regulations say that you mustn't be able to pass a 100, 100 mil, mil sphere through fist or baby gap. Yeah? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do it 90.44. But so how we got there is if, if you imagine, if you, um, if you had one stick in the middle yeah. of your two, two new posts, you'd like find a centre and put that there. So you've got two equal gaps. So if you stuck that against the new post and measure that distance, yeah. and then divide that by two, yeah. then that will give you the, the, part, the, the perfect spacing. Yeah. So we've got 25. So I've got 25 times the 32 and a half mil, which is 812 mil. Right. So okay. the overall span is 3164 between the two nules. Yeah. So we take all the sticks off of it, 812, that leaves us 23515. Yeah. Then, because we've got 25 sticks, we've got 26 spaces, yeah, we've got yeah. one more That's every it. time. Yeah. So you divide that number by 26, and that gives me 90.44. So all my sticks should be 90.44. Now, I can't quite see 0.44, but I'll, um, I'll aim at... 90 and a half, half mil or yeah, just yeah. over 90 mil when I measure them yeah and then do half of it and then run the rest out yeah so that's when you're cutting your spaces basically isn't it yes yeah so you're going to set up a stopper I'll set up a little so stopper you'll we'll see in a moment um basically someone is a, it's a little tricky if you do a little little chamfer on there it doesn't get filled up with sawdust oh yeah <laughs> I remember that too remember that one yeah yeah, yeah basically I'll set that up there at 90 mil from the blade, or just over 90 mil, we can keep tapping that, measure them, and then just cut a load up. Yeah, brilliant. But I'll cut about three quarters of them up, get and three then, quarters in, and, and then... And will you work end to end, or what? So you always work. start one in, but you could start in the middle, because we know we've got 25, I could start one in the middle, and work either way, yeah. but they just hold out of it, so I like starting Do you know what, I, I kind of like that idea myself though, because it means that you would then end up, if you had to do a, an adjustment, you would end up doing Both it ends. next to the newel post, wouldn't yes. you? Which wouldn't show up so much, no, would it? No, You know, so even if you were twin, even if you were five mil out at the ends to the newel post. Yeah, it doesn't show up so much. So long as it doesn't go but more then. No. But usually, when you work it out, you normally run them out, you're within a couple of, like, two mil or something. Okay. And, you know. Yep. So if you're a little bit unsure, you can lay all the sticks out and then physically measure them. I went 32 and a half mil by 25, that gives us 812 and a half. Now if you knocked off 12 mil off that, like half a mil, if I was meant 32 mil times it by 25, you'd have been 25 lots of half a mil out. So I always mark the tops of these, what I've just cut. So as you can see, I've got a slightly bigger bit here at the bottom than the top, it's just how I like it. It's like the door, the bottom rail of that door there, you've got a chunky bit at the bottom and then a smaller piece at the top. So I always mark the tops as well, because you don't want to get halfway through and get it upside down, which I've done before. <laughs> Top of the goldfish. They just hold it together. Right. So now cut them pairs and it all stays there nicely. I wanted 90.44. What have you got 
90 points. 3-1. I'm not measuring between two of these. Let's see what we've got there. So there I've got that's actually 706. Between them ones there I've got seven seven oh six. I'm just gonna carry on with it. Seven millimetres. Yeah. The mill, yeah, so I'll just carry on. I'll get his last few all in together. Oh yeah, yeah, you can't get them in, can you, otherwise? I'll get that one in there. When I'm doing all the angled stairs, <clears throat> once you've got your cut on there, obviously you want 100 mil or less. So down here it's around 130 mil. So when you've got your splay cut on your stick, I'll measure across there because last time we done it square. So you go down there, that's about 43 and a half mil. So however many sticks you got, you times that by 43 and a half or whatever your angled there is, and then you obviously measure from there when it's gonna go in. Divide it all up, and then you're going to measure down this length with the angle cuts on it. Mm. So, you know, because you're not going to go out square, we're going down, but it's important to cut, to measure that on the angle. It's not 32 mil, because whatever length that is down there, you know, that stick's going to be sitting okay, in there. Right. So, so, so you've got yeah. to measure that length on the angle. Yeah. Now, the beauty with this, say you've got 130 mil on that angle down there. Yeah. When you get near the end, if you're like a few millimetres out, you could go up to 140 mil. Now, five mil down on the angle is only two mil square. Oh, is it? It's a lot less because you're going down on the angle. So yeah. you could be a few millimetres out going down that way. On the angle ones, before you fit that, it's easy to measure from there to there while it's here. Yeah, I see. Put your halfway line and I'll come all the way down, get halfway. And then you can see how you're running, if you're running out, yeah, yeah. or hopefully not running yeah. out so much. Yeah. When you call them sticks, that's a colloquial term for spindles. Spindles, right? <laughs> yeah, they, are, they are actually spindles. We're not suddenly putting sticks in, but no, you, yeah. you call them sticks, because yeah, uh, that's day. fine. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely fine. So that's the first thing. Right, okay. yeah. So the second thing is, we still do we still need to maintain that 100 millimetres maximum gap between? Here, yes. So that a child can't get their head through. Yeah, 100 mil kind of or less. Yeah. So that lot, I set them up at 90, I like them a little bit yeah. under, hundreds a bit wide. Yeah. If I'm setting this out from scratch, right, I've put my handrail in and I now need to know how that angled measurement of 130 translates to right, so if the, we, the, the horizontal yeah, gap, you so, know what I'm yes, saying? So yes. instead of being on a slope... Yeah, so if I measure that, I'm going to measure down there 130 mil, it's around yeah, 130. That's, it, that's what I need to know. So we've measured down there 130, yeah. so we put that there. Yeah. And then when we measure square out there, I can ah, see okay. that that's probably 95 mil. Yeah, so we're so, safe. So I know from the past on these stairs, your spacers are 130 is around yeah. maximum. Yeah. And there is an app. I believe so. I've never looked at it. I've, um, you know, you're sitting there for many years ago. 
Yeah. There's apps for everything, so there's roofing apps apparently. Yeah. And the app would basically you just tell them the angle of your staircase. I believe so, yeah. And, you, and you, the you, gap. You, you pitch. And then you, you need to know the thickness of your spindles or yeah. the width of your spindle or whatever. Yeah, obviously, I've never used one, but yeah. it would work it out that if you're, this is a 32 and a half mil spindle. Yeah. So if it's 42 degrees, I'd like to think that they've already worked that yeah. that's 43 and a half mil. Yeah. yeah, we'll have a look at that. We'll yeah. have a look at that sometime. Be interesting. And who knows, you might even put another one up to complement your other app, your Roofing, <laughs> roofing Square app, app <laughs> yeah. which James used the other day. Excellent. Yeah, it's on Android and, uh, and Apple. Apple as it's well. On both. It's on both now, yeah, brilliant. And it's free. It's free. Which yep, is no very, marketing. Which is very good of you. And it's very good of young Scott. We've seen him very soon in Scotland. Yeah. So it's very good of young Scott who... Um, he does the heavy lifting, does he? He does the heavy lifting. Okay. That's a real brain power. <laughs> That's great. Okay, Roger. Yeah, lovely. Thank you.